I'm Nick Wood. I'm a freelance photographer. I also run Unshaken Photography Training. Today I'd like to share with you some great tips and advice on how to produce some stunning photographs. We're now gonna talk about taking professional pictures. For me, there are three key elements that really go into making up a really great professional photograph. Get the composition right, get the lighting right, and finally, make those key adjustments in post-production or editing on your computer that's really gonna give the pictures the wow factor. Composition. For me, photography should always be nice and simple. I'm always looking for a great photograph that has the fewest distractions possible in the background. Very often, a great subject doesn't actually take a great photograph. It's often about the background and the surrounding elements that make up the whole of the picture. Try not to let your eye get caught by the subject alone. Have a good look around and work out what's the very best angle to take your picture from. Additionally, fill the frame with the subject. Very often I look at photographs and I'm just a little bit disappointed that the main subjects are a little bit too far away in the image or they're a bit too small. Move a little bit closer to the subject or use that zoom facility on your camera to really fill the frame. Another key tip is to vary the angles that you're taking your photographs from. Vary also the angle that you hold your camera. Don't always take it from a landscape perspective sideways on. Tip your camera up and shoot from a portrait perspective. Duck down low, include some of the ground within the shot, or try and just get a little bit higher than your traditional shot. For me, it becomes very boring if I'm looking through a series of photographs and they're all taken from the same height i.e. a standing height with the person just holding the camera as though it's actually floating in the air. Much better to duck down or stand up tall when taking your pictures. That variety really can add some impact to the overall collection of photos that you take. Lighting is fundamental in photography. All too often if you go out on a very bright sunny day, the bright sun will actually kill the photographs for you. You'll get some really bright aspects in the image and some really low contrasty shadows within the same picture. Digital cameras unfortunately can't actually deal with really high levels of contrast. Often what is better is to find an area of even shade where the lighting is much more neutral and then once you get your pictures back onto your camera just have a little play around with some contrast on there to bring your pictures alive. In many ways this goes against what most people think when taking pictures. They enjoy going out on sunny days. As a photographer though they're very difficult conditions to shoot under. Post-production. Digital cameras take a really great and beautiful sharp picture. Unfortunately, they can tend to be a little bit flat, the images, when they first come out of your camera. In the good old days of film, we'd give our film to different laboratories and they would process the pictures in slightly different ways. Post-production or this editing after the image had been taken has always been going on. Many people now seem to think that it's cheating to play around with your pictures on your computer. Nothing could be further than the truth. And I find that just about every picture, if taken correctly, can still be improved maybe 10 to 20% back onto your computer. There are some simple changes that you need to make in order to really bring your pictures to life. You can modify the crop back on your computer very easily. This means just changing the position of the key elements within the frame. You can also check the exposure on the computer as well. Very often there's a little slider that you can use to make some fine adjustments. Give the colours a little bit more of a boost by a slight change to a saturation slider. And finally, look for a way of increasing the contrast slightly. This final change will really give your images a three-dimensional element to them. In summary, to create professional pictures, think of three key elements. The composition, the lighting, and that little final tweak of post-production back at home. And that's how to take professional photographs. <laughs>